Texas health system got itself out of hot water with the U.S. Justice Department for mismanaging Medicare money. The agency says Genesis agreed to pay nearly $1.9 million to resolve the case. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of Iowa released the settlement information today. Genesis was accused of violating the False Claims Act by keeping Medicare overpayments between January 1st of 2013 and December 31st of 2016. Federal prosecutors say the hospital was billing the government higher inpatient rates for people who were actually outpatients. That should have been a lower rate. It's tonight's top story. Local force Tara Rahman joins us live from the Genesis campus in Davenport. Tara, what are the hospital administration saying tonight? Jim, Tiffany, Genesis Health officials didn't want to speak to us on camera today, but here is a breakdown of what they're telling us right now. Now, Paul Bollinger is the vice president of legal affairs for Genesis Health System. He sums up the case by saying that the interpretation of rules about billing classifications are complicated. Bollinger also says that the inpatient admissions that are in question make up less than 1% of the total admissions that Genesis handled over the three years. He says Genesis did cooperate fully with the U.S. Justice Department in the investigation. Now, although Genesis is settling these claims, the payment is not necessarily an admission of guilt or wrongdoing. Paul Bollinger also says that throughout this process, patient care and safety were never at risk. Live in Davenport, Tahara Rahman, Local 4 News. Tahara, thank you. Now, only